Hey team, Sensei Brody here. Super excited to be your online instructor today. Before we get started, a few things you're gonna need. As obvious, full uniform, like we're at action, having our gi pants, our gi top, and our belt nice and tight. We wanna make sure we got some room around us to move just a little bit. And we wanna make sure we have a family member with some pillows or targets to help us out when we're hitting those targets. But I'll give you 10 seconds team to make sure you have everything ready, then we'll get started. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Awesome, let's get started. Team, everybody, natural stance. Attention, say sir. Horror stance, fist cover. How you guys doing today, team? Awesome, feet together, big bow. And relax stance. Student creed, repeat after me. Say, to build true confidence. I must have knowledge in my mind, honesty in my heart, and strengthen my body. Awesome team, everyone start jogging in place. We're talking about coordination today. Everybody say coordination. Coordination means I can do tricky things without falling down or messing up. So we're gonna be doing a lot of coordination drills today to really work on it. So if you mess up, don't worry team, we're gonna get back up and do it again. Everybody freeze. We gotta start with my favorite coordination drill to work on our hands. Take your hand team, put on your belly. Take your hand, put on your head. Rub your stomach and pat your head. Two things, super tricky, switch our hands down. Rub your stomach, pat your head. I love this drill, really works on that coordination. That's a fun thing you can do at home once you're practicing on your own. And start jogging again, team. We're gonna start with some side leg swings. So everybody freeze, hands up. Reach over, tap on your right leg. We're gonna take our leg and imagine that we're doing a side kick without bending our knee. We're gonna swing our leg up and bring it back down. But I'm not gonna point my toes I'm gonna make sure they're flexed back so the bottom of my foot is facing that way. So I'm gonna have my hands up, I'm gonna take this leg, I'm gonna swing it up, swing it down. I'm gonna say one, we're gonna do it 10 times. We're gonna work on those leg muscles. Ready? One, two, three. Really flex those toes. Four, five, keep those hands up. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Awesome, now it's time for this leg turn. Tap on this leg, tap on it, tap on it, tap on it. Hands up by your face, we're gonna swing it up. Remember, are our toes pointed or flexed? They're flexed, just like this, I'm pointing them out, but I'm gonna turn them sideways. So they're pointing towards the camera or towards me. So ready, hands up. When I say go, swing it up, swing it down. Ready, one, asa, two, asa, three, asa, four, asa, five, asa, make sure your hands up, six, asa, Seven, asa, eight, Ooh. asa, nine, asa, one more, 10, asa. Good job, team, start jogging again, using those calf muscles. Now, we're gonna go in probably one of the best positions ever, puppy dog position, because puppies are awesome. You're gonna go on your knees just like so. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did, but we're gonna practice like so, so when we get ready for those side kicks, we're gonna have perfect side kicks. Hands down, just like so. You're gonna take your leg, you're gonna bring it up, you're gonna swing it up and swing it down, and swing it up and swing it down. We're gonna do 10 times on this side. Ready? Bring your leg in, swing it up, say one, two, three, four. Keep going, team. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. And then we go to the other side. We turn our body this way. We're gonna have our hands out, have our leg over. Remember, team, our toes are gonna be pointed, gonna be flexed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Everybody stand up. Start jogging those legs. Now we can do something with our arms too. Our legs are getting all this time. We're gonna use our arm muscles too. Freeze. We're gonna go in puppy dog position one more time. But this time, we're gonna add a push-up, keeping our leg out in that side kick position. It's a little tricky challenge, but remember, we're working on coordination today, make it stronger. Ready? Let's go back down. We're gonna go down. We're gonna do five push-ups for each side. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Awesome, so ready? Puppy dog position. Leg out in the air. Try to hold it in the air. Now we're gonna bend our elbows down. Say one. That's a little tricky team. Let's keep going. Two, three, keep that leg out, don't let it fall. Four, one more, five. And we switch to our other side. Puppy dog position. Kick that leg out, flexing those toes. 
Don't point those toes. Flex them. Ready? One, two, three. Keep going, team. Four. And one more. Five. And everybody, stand up. And start jogging those legs. And relax. Dance. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Nice job, everybody. So now we're gonna work on those side kicks. Everybody say, side kicks. Awesome, now side kicks take a lot of coordination because we use our entire body for it and we need to make sure we have our hands up and our legs gonna be crossed in our body. So everybody, hands up, tap on your right leg, put it back, hands up, say. Oh, come on team, we're gonna do that one more time. I gotta hear that power, not too loud though. Tap on that leg, put it back, say, aya. My belly's pointing this way, my hands are up by my face. I'm gonna turn my belly sideways just so you guys can see real quick. I'm gonna take my front leg, the one close to me. I'm gonna bring my knee and I'm gonna try to touch my opposite hip. Every take, take your hands, touch your knee, and touch your opposite hip. And then reset. Touch your knee, touch your opposite hip. And switch. Touch your hip, touch your opposite knee. So ready? We're gonna take our right leg, hands up, take that leg, and bring your knee back like you're trying to touch your hip. And reset. I'm bringing it back, trying to touch my hip. Let's do it. We'll do it five times. Ready? Everybody, one, chamber. Reset. I wanna hear the way say chamber. Two, chamber, reset. Three, chamber, reset. Four, chamber, reset. Really bring it back, hands up, and make sure our posture is super straight. If we hunch over or lean back, we're gonna fall down. One more, five, chamber, reset. Switch your feet, say, aya. Remember, back straight, don't lean forward or back too much. I'm bringing my knee to my opposite hip. I'm like I'm crossing my body. Like I'm taking a big step up in the air. Ready? Take a leg, bring it up, chamber, Put it back, I'm bringing it back. Chamber and back, that's two. Chamber, back, three. Chamber, back, four, one more. Chamber and back, five. Nice job, team. So now we're gonna add the full side kick position. We're gonna bring our chamber in and we're gonna side kick out. Now, if you need help with some balance, see that's okay. I'm gonna have my weight master. You can have a wall nearby or a little stool, not to hold on to, but just to help you if you need your balance. That makes sense, team, thumbs up? Awesome job, everybody. Start jogging your feet. So ready? We're gonna do our chamber, then we're gonna do our side kick, trying to keep that coordination, not fall down with those tricky things. Freeze. Hands up by your face. Take that right leg, put it back, hands up, say aya. Good power team. So ready? I'm gonna turn a little bit on an angle so you can see. Tap on your front leg. Bring it up for that chamber. Bring it back. And I want you to push it out front of you. Push sideways. And then put it down. Let's do it one more time slow. Remember, if you need that wall, hold it right there, but don't grab onto it. Bring it up to my back hip and push it out and putting it down. And remember, are my toes pointed or flexed? Can anyone remember? They're flexed. I'm hitting with the bottom of my foot. Good job, team. Ready? Let's do it together again. Chamber back and kick out. Awesome. Awesome. We're not worrying about power just yet. Let's keep working on our form. Everybody, oh, let's switch your feet. Say, ayah. So our belly's facing this way now. Tap on that front leg. Step number one, bring it back for the chamber. And push out. And then put it back down. Nice job, everybody. Let's do two more. Bring it in for the chamber. Push it out. Boom. And put it back down. Remember, back straight, try not to lean too much. One more. Bring it back. Reach it out. Bring it back. And put it down. Nice job, team. Now, let's try to add some power into it. But remember, I'm not trying to push it like I'm breaking a door down. I'm going to fall down. That's not going to have good coordination. I want to make sure my hands are up, my back is straight. I'm doing a little push until we start using our targets. Tap on that right leg. Put it back. Say, ah yeah. All right. Take that front leg, team. Bring it back for that chamber and push out for a side. Say, ah saw. And put it back down. Remember to read chamber in two. Let's do four more kicks. We're going to do five in total. Bring it back. Kick out, say, asa. Put it back down, that's two, three, asa. Put it back, four, chamber, asa. That's, we'll do one more, I lost track of count. Bring it in, kick out, asa, and back down. That's why you guys had to count for me. Ready, switch your feet, say, aya. All right, team, ready? Five kicks on this side, tap on that front leg, bring it back, and push it out, asa. Put it back down, that's one, ready? Two, chamber, Asa. Three. Chamber. Asa. Four. One more time. Chamber. Asa. And that's five. Nice job, team. And we start jogging in place. 
Really good job on your side. You see? Relax, dance. Let's do two deep breaths in. Ready? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And like I said before, my legs are getting all the fun today, which I love, but my arms are feeling a little jealous. So I think we should do some back knuckles now. Say back knuckle. Now remember, a back knuckle in my hand, I don't hit with the front part here or the hand right here. I don't want to hit right here. I hit with the back of my hand right here. I'm mean, like, like I'm opening a door. So tap on your right leg, put your back hands up, say, oh yeah. Let's work on that back knuckle punch team. Everyone, take your front hand, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys. You're gonna take that thumb, put it next to your hand. I'm gonna bend my elbow in, bring it out. Bring it in, just practice motion a little bit. In and out, in and out, just a little bit. Now, we're gonna make it snap out. So instead of just going out, we're gonna go asa real fast. But we're not gonna swing through, because I'm gonna lose my balance, and that's not gonna be good coordination. I'm gonna have my hands up. When I say go, bring it out and in, really quickly for an asa. Ready, go, asa. Nice. Let's see who can be, let's see who can be faster. Ready? Go! Asa! Go! Asa! Go! Asa! One more. Go! Asa! Good job, team. Ready? Switch your beat say, Aya! Alrighty. Take your new front hand now. What? Give me a thumbs up, team. You, you guys are rock stars. Good job, you guys. Now take that thumb. Put it next to your hand. Hand up on your face. Bring your elbow in. Bring it out. Just a little slow motion. Don't gotta be too fast right now. Da, 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 da. Just opening, closing a door. Now let's make it fast and we're gonna step it out and in with a big asa. Ready? Go! Asa! Go! Asa! Go! Asa! One more. Go! Asa! Nice job, everyone. So now we got our back knuckles and we got our side kicks. Our hands got some turns and our legs have some turns now. So now we get to do two different types of drills. Everyone go, yes! It's gonna take a little bit of coordination, but I think we can do it, team. If you have a family member, could you call them in? We're gonna have to borrow them for this next drill. It may be super helpful for this team. I'll give you five seconds. If you don't have a helper, I'll be your helper and you'll be my helper too. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Our first drill we're gonna do team is gonna be a little hopping drill. So I'm gonna use three square hand targets for me today. I'm gonna use three square hand targets. I'm gonna have one here, I'm gonna have one here, and I'm gonna have one here. So here's what we need. You need to have three, either hula hoops can work, pool noodles can work, little pillows can work too, but you need to have something that you can hop on. And it's gonna take a lot of coordination, all right? A little tricky. So I'm gonna start over here. If you don't have anything, team, we're gonna imagine for this. I'm gonna hop on three of my targets and my family members at the end. My family members are Wave Master. Say hi, Wave Master. Thanks for coming again today. So we're gonna hop on those bags and then we're gonna side kick at the end. But our feet stay together and our hands are gonna stay up. Ready? Let's try the one time together. Ready? Hop on your first one or hop over. Hop, hop, hop. And now we're gonna hop off and do our side kick on the bag. Remember, my toes point sideways. I can get my guardian stance, bring my leg back, kick sideways. Awesome. And put it back down. Then I'll reset back over here. Does that make sense, team? Awesome. Let's do it one more time together and we'll use our other leg this time. Ready? I'll move my bag back a little bit so Mr. Brody has just a bit of room. Ready? We're going to have our hands up. We're going to jump on one, jump on two, jump on three, jump off, get in that corner stance and side kick. Awesome. And put it back. Nice job, everyone. So now, on your own, I'm going to give you one minute do it over and over again with your family member or you can help me out too i need someone to work with all right ready get set and go one hop two hop three hop and hop off it's like i saw nice job everybody back on over back on over ready three hops one two three back off it's like also nice job team we really bring those hands up and we head on back let's do it again ready we got, we got 30 seconds, team. Let's keep going, keep going. One, two, three, hop off, and it's like, awesome. And we head on back. I think we have time for, we might have time for one more. Ready, hop on, hop on, hop on, hop off. It's like, awesome. We have time for another, hurry. Let's go, let's go. One more big one. One, two, three, off. It's like, awesome. And time. 
Awesome job, team. So now we're gonna move our targets off. We have another drill we're gonna work on. So I love this drill. This is gonna be a really fun one. So family members, if you have a ball at home, this is a perfect drill to do, to have a lot of fun. Now team, if you don't right now, we're gonna do a little bit later. You're gonna work with me on this drill. So let's first start with our reaction of our back knuckle. We've worked on our legs, let's use our reaction on our back knuckle. Let's use that good coordination with our arms and legs. We're gonna go back and forth. Tap on your right leg, put it back, hands up, say, oh yeah. Awesome. When I say go team, I want you to snap that back knuckle out, asa, real quick. Belly's facing this way, my hands are up. Ready, go, asa, go, asa. Go, Asa. So now, we're gonna do a quick reaction drill with a ball. When our family member tosses us the ball, they're gonna toss the ball. We have to back knuckle it before it hits us. Or, if you want parents, a pillow works too. Drop a pillow, they have to back knuckle before it even hits the floor too. It's a super fun drill we love to do, team. So ready? Everybody hands up. If you have a family member with you, you can go back and forth with them right now. But if not, I need a helper for this deck drill, so you're gonna be my helper. When I clap, you have to have good coordination. Snap your back and go back. Ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super quiet, okay? When I clap, you punch. And if you have your family member here, you keep going and do those ball drills. We got one minute. Ready? Hands up. When I clap, you back and go. I wanna see that good coordination. Ready? Ooh, I gotta see fast not ready. Uh -uh. Ooh, pretty good. I, I gotta hear those asses though. Ready? Nice. That was a bad clap. That was a good one. Good, good back knuckle, you guys. Ready? Now we're gonna switch our feet. So now this time, when I say back knuckle, back knuckle. When I say side kick, side kick. It's gonna take a lot of different coordination, moving our hands and our legs. Ready? Back knuckle. Side kick. Back knuckle. Back knuckle. Side kick. Side kick. Back knuckle. Back knuckle, back knuckle, back knuckle, back knuckle, side kick. Awesome. And everybody time. We'll come back to this a little bit later. This is one of my favorite drills. We'll come back to this later. Everyone lock it up, team. Hands on knees, back super straight, eyes up front. So, oh, let's do a deep breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Awesome job, team. Our lesson of the week is about coordination. Now, like I said before, coordination is doing tricky things without falling down and without messing up. Now, here at Action, we have a lot of coordination with punches and kicks and balance and everything. Are there some other sports that do coordination? What are some other sports that really need some coordination, using their hands and legs and their mind and everything? What are some sports? Is baseball, does baseball need coordination? Of course baseball needs coordination. What about soccer? Soccer needs a lot of coordination. You're using your legs a lot, moving around with the ball. What, if, what about basketball? Basketball needs coordination too. There's so many sports, football, hockey, volleyball. There's so many sports that need coordination. And we're here to practice that so we can use our arms and legs in a really big coordination drill. So let's, let's try again. Hand on your belly, hand on your head, rub your belly, pat your head. Freeze, switch your hands. Rub your stomach, pat your head. <gasps> nice job, team. And everybody stand on up. Awesome. We practice that coordination. So when we do other activities, even just walking around, we help our coordination with our body. All right. We are going to do our favorite part of class. We're ending off with kata. We say kata. We have ninja power super strong. Now remember, ninja power has coordination too. Hold horse stance and chambers and our blocks. So let's go through it really strong, making sure every part has good coordination. Attention, say, sir. Everybody, action kata. Ninja power. <gasps> Bow. And horse stance. Up. In. Out. Touch. Down. Back. And asa. Getting that guardian stance, say, aya. Front hand. Jab. Cross, front kick, feet together, big bow, team, ninja sharks, rock, oh yeah, nice job team, good work. Let's do it one more time, this time you have to help me. I want you to lead me to the kata again. I wanna make sure you guys really got that good, you got good kata memorized in your head. All right, what's the first thing we do? We say action kata, what do we do after that? We say 
get your power. And when we do, we do a big, big bow. And we get into what stance again? Core stance. All right, what do we do now? We go up. What's after up? We go in. What about this? What's next? Ah, uh, we go out. What's next? Ah, uh, we touch. Then that means the next thing is what? Is down. After that's what? Go back. How about now? Of course, we go. Asa. Now we get into a new stance. What, what stance is it again? Takari stance. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Wait, wait, what do we do now? We do two punches. Oh, jab, cross. Jab, cross. Then we do a kick after that. What kick is it? It's a front kick. Say front kick. Feet together. What's next? Big bow cores. Now, one of our, our almost the favorite part coming up. We chamber and say what? Team. Ninja sharks. Rock. And then what do we end it off with? Oh, yeah. The best part, team. Nice job. Everybody, lock it up. Awesome. We're going to do our super awesome finisher. If you have your family member still there or if they're around, could you call them back up? We're going to need for this last little drill. It's going to be a fun drill, team. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, everybody. For our finisher, we're going to be doing back knuckles and side kicks on a target. Luckily, I got my helper right here, team. But we're going to do back knuckle, side kick over and over again. And parents out there, if your children are ready for a challenge, have them do their back knuckle and side kick really quick, one after the other, without having to think with their hands by their face. So ready, team? Together with our family members on my count, let's do back knuckle, side kick, soup, then side kick. Awesome, real strong. Let's do it three times. Ready? Hands up by your face. Ready? One, soup, asa. Two, soup, asa. Three, soup, asa. Nice job, everybody. Let's switch our feet now. Ready? Switch your feet. Other side. My belly's facing the other direction. Three times. Ready? Back and little side kick. One, soup, asa. Two, soup, asa. Three, soup. Awesome. Nice job. Let's, uh, let's run over to the back area we got here, team. We're going to freeze now. Now, let's start. Let's do uh, five squats. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Five. Then we go back over to our Waymaster or our family member. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks for helping out again. Ready? Three times. Back and go side kick. Ready? Hands up. And one, two, asa. Two, soup, asa. Three, soup, asa. Switch your beat, say, ayo. Three times, let's do it, team, ready? One, soup, asa. Two, soup, asa. Three, soup, asa. Awesome job, man. Run over to this area. Now, we're gonna do a little tricky drill. We're gonna do hands up, balance front kicks. Really taking coordination to keep our hands up and stay in the air. Ready? Hands up. Keep it. Three more seconds. Two, one. Freeze. Other leg now. Hands up. Stand still. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And everyone freeze. Everybody relax, stance. Like I said, if parents out there to really work on their coordination and to have a fun time as well, doing the ball toss drill with the back knuckle is a fun game to do at home and I highly recommend it. It's still one of my favorites to this day. Everybody relax stance. I hope you guys had a fun time today, team working super strong. Remember to work on those side kicks and those back knuckles to really hone those coordination drills with your hands, legs, and everything. Really focus too. Family members, if you have any questions, feel free to ask your head instructor at your school. But otherwise, I appreciate sure that's about all we have for our homework team. Really showing that good form for those side kicks. So families out there showing the, uh, we'll say five back knuckle punches and five side kicks each leg. Really working on that chamber and that push motion. Really honing on that form. But I'm pretty sure that's about all we have, team. Natural stance. Attention, say, sir. Horse stance, fist cover. Do you guys have fun today, team? Awesome, repeat that to me in pride. Say, we are a black belt school. We're dedicated. We're motivated. We're on a quest to be our best. Feet together, big, strong bow. Hand back, here we say, action. Shake your hands. If you can hear me, team, shake those hands. Start clapping. 
and say yes, 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 y